Upon your arrival to the nation's capital, Grand Turk, a sense of calm and the island's personality will embrace your spirit from the very beginning of your stay. If heading towards the southern end of the island, you will pass Waterloo, the premises of Her Majesty the Queen, which is named after the war during the year that it was built in 1815 and is the residence of the British governor. The wonderfully beautiful and picturesque Governor's Beach, with its gem blue waters and white sand beach, rivals the beauty and exclusivity of any beach in the world and is the perfect place to kick back and unwind. Going along, you will pass the former U.S. Air Force facility and the Grand Turk Cruise Center, which is rated as one of the best ports of call in the Caribbean. If headed in a northerly direction, you will eventually arrive at the historic Coburn Town. Whilst you traverse along Duke Street towards Front Street, which was once voted the prettiest streets in the Caribbean, you will experience a gentle charm with its Bermudan-style buildings and guest houses dating back to the early 1800s, with some boasting such guests as Princess Alexandra, who visited the island in 1988, to a Hollywood producer who filmed movies locally with acclaimed actors such as Christopher Lee, famous for his role as Count Dracula. To its everlasting and interesting churches, aesthetics views, passing sea vessel, and eagle rays, it's these treasures that adds to your adventure. While strolling past notable properties ranging from the Oddfellows Lodge, where the Emancipation Proclamation was read of the freeing of the slaves in 1834, the old piers where the sloops would depart with our white gold, you will eventually arrive at the Guinness House, where the Turks and Caicos National Museum is located. This highly interesting, informative yet quaint institution with its collections of artifacts and other objects of artistic, historical, and scientific importance shall amaze and enlighten the most cultured of travelers. Further along when passing through the community of West Road, you shall come across the fish market where the local fishermen will proudly show off their afternoon's catch. It is said that you learn a lot about someone when you share a meal with them. However, I believe you can learn a lot about the traditions and ways of life of a society through its people and its food. In particular, our fresh seafood, ranged from different species of fish, conch, lobster, and wilkes. Now let me let you in on a little secret. You have your popular choices from snapper, grouper, mahi-mahi, and tuna. But just as good or better, a local favorite such as triggerfish, jacks, hash shark, bonefish, and if you're brave enough, barracuda, which is considered one of the sweetest fish in the sea. Being cracked, filleted, fritted, steamed, raw, grilled, boiled, or fried, your mouth will water with anticipation like a hungry hotcake. So indulge. The Lighthouse Park, which was erected in 1852, is a must visit. The donkeys are sure to greet you with surprising affection, curiosity, and will even pose for a picture with you. During the whaling season, which is easily amongst the highlight of any bucket list, this stop is one of the best locations to view these visitors and gentle giants. Being on a boat is always fun and having a chance to get up close and personal with them is simply amazing. Finally, what makes this island so special is its people. Fun, colorful, vibrant, locals will always greet you with a good morning or afternoon and will share their stories and memories of what Grand Turk is, was, and could be. So at the domino table, local watering hole, or even with a taxi driver, many will happily befriend you and assist in any way they can. So if you're a first time visitor, a return guest, or living locally, we invite you to rediscover Grand Turk, which is in essence to discover the Turks and Caicos. We hope you soon reach, and we'll be waiting.